Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. Uh, so let us start today's class. Last class, uh, we came to know a previous year's question paper of mechanical engineering that is engineering mechanics. Okay. So with that paper, if you observe that paper properly, you will get some idea how you are going to get the question paper. Okay. So it's just an idea so that uh, after if you have completed your uh, syllabus so it will be just an overall view how you can get the questions and um, how you can start uh, giving answers to the questions. Okay. So today's class uh, we are going to discuss resultant of coplanar forces. Okay. So we will start uh, today's class. If you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel please like and share our channel okay many more classes uh, will uh, be discussing in our channel so don't miss it please uh, subscribe our channel please like and share our channel thank you very much now we will start uh, discussing today's class resultant of coplanar forces so this resultant of coplanar forces we are having two methods one is the graphical method another is the analytical method and uh, here two methods are there for uh, coming under this resultant of coplanar forces first is resultant of collinear coplanar forces next is resultant of concurrent and coplanar forces so today's class we will be concentrating only on this resultant of collinear coplanar forces okay so here i have mentioned this heading resultant of collinear coplanar forces so whatever the question if you are getting under this uh, resultant of collinear coplanar forces two methods you have to show the answer two methods you have to show the resultant one is the graphical method and another second is the analytical method so both same values will get uh, under graphical method and analytical method same values you will get now how we are getting how we can uh, understand this uh, analytical and graphical now we will understand so we will start with uh, analytical method okay so here this is the analytical method uh, we are having a statement the resultant is obtained by adding all the forces if they are acting in the same direction so you have to remember this point same direction all the forces acting in the same direction so in order to understand this statement we will see this diagram see you can see this diagram here f1 f2 f3 three forces are shown three forces are plotted on this diagram so f1 f2 3 are acting in the same direction okay right next statement if any one of the forces is acting in the opposite direction the resultant is obtained by subtracting that force okay now we will see that diagram okay f1 f2 f3 are three forces here you can see f2 is opposite okay you can see f2 is opposite so once it f2 is opposite what will be the resultant resultant r is equal to f1 minus f2 plus f3 so whereas here when all the forces are acting in the same direction what will be the resultant r is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 okay i think all of you understood this analytical method now we'll move to this uh, graphical method okay graphical method here force f1 is equal to ab to some scale okay so f1 is equal to ab so this is f1 f1 is equal to ab a to b okay f2 is equal to bc f2 is equal to bc f3 is equal to cd okay so based on this uh, graphical method is based on this diagram what we can say ab represents a force f1 bc represents force force f2 cd represents force f3 okay now what is the resultant here r is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 okay now if you see the another diagram here force f1 is equal to a to b force f1 is equal to a to b force f2 is equal to b to c force f2 is equal to b to c and f3 is equal to c to d okay f3 is equal to c c to d the resultant force is represented in magnitude by ad so a to d on the chosen scale so here c is opposite okay f2 is opposite here right so what we are writing here our resultant r is equal to f1 minus f2 plus f3 okay so based on this uh, 
analytical method and graphical method which we understood under this resultant of collinear coplanar forces now we will see one problem okay so that uh, you will understand uh, if you are getting a question regarding this uh, okay we can uh, solve it very easily three collinear horizontal forces of magnitude 200 newtons 100 newtons and 300 newtons are acting on a rigid body determine the resultant uh, of the forces analytically and graphically when all the forces are acting in the same direction the force 100 newtons acts in the opposite direction okay see remember here see each and every class i, I am saying the same thing you have to understand the problem okay so whatever the data is given in the problem you have to read it once twice and thrice so that until and under, until and unless if you don't understand the problem you cannot go for the solution okay so read it properly okay so after reading the problem properly you will understand what is the data given which type of approach you have to apply for this problem all these things you will recollect very soon okay so that's why i used to say i used to suggest or suggest all the students read the question properly so that you can recollect the which type of method you are going to uh, start for the solution okay see if you read this question collinear word is used okay collinear word is used and method name of method is also given here that is analytical and graphical and um, same two approaches also he has mentioned for forces acting in the same direction and one force is in opposite direction seeing the problem seeing this type of problems easily you can go for uh, giving the answer so that you will get uh, full marks okay now we will see the solution given f1 equal to 200 newtons f2 is 100 newtons and f3 is 300 newtons so first analytical method we will see the analytical method okay when all the forces are acting in the same direction the resultant is given resultant r is equal to f1 we know resultant r is equal to f1 plus f2 f3 why we are writing here resultant r, r is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 we know that this is used for forces all forces acting in the same direction so f1 plus f2 plus f3 we know if we know f1 is 200 f2 is 100 f3 is 300 we are adding 600 newtons second one r what is the second condition here the force 100 newtons acts in the opposite direction we know when the force is acting opposite direction which resultant we have to take so r is the resultant r is equal to f1 minus f2 plus f3 so 200 minus 100 plus 300 we are getting 400 newtons now we will go for the graphical method okay in this graphical method suppose 100 newtons is equal to 1 centimeter we are taking this uh, 100 newtons as 1 centimeter so f1 200 by 100 is 2 centimeters f2 is 100 by 100 is 1 centimeter f3 is 300 by 100 is 3 centimeter so here in this diagram a b represents f1 b c b 2 c represents f2 c 2 d represents f3 okay right now we will see when all the forces act in the same direction by measurement length a to d is equal to 6 centimeter if you add 2 plus 1 plus 3 it is a to d is how much 6 centimeter therefore resultant is equal to length a to d into chosen scale what is the selected scale here 100 newtons equal to 1 centimeter so uh, total length is how much a to d 6 into choose a scale is 160 to 100 is 600 newtons okay now we'll see the next one when force 100 newtons is equal to f2 acts in the opposite direction okay when force acts in the opposite direction so a to b is 2 centimeter to represent force f1 okay a to b is 2 centimeter to represent the force f1 b to c is 1 centimeter b to c is 1 centimeter in the opposite direction see you have to remember this word opposite direction then only you will not forget the uh, procedure okay the so, 1 centimeter is in opposite direction to represent f2 c to d is 3 centimeter to represent f3 okay c to d is 3 centimeter to represent f3 so measure length a to d this gives the resultant 
so we can see by measurement length a2d is 4 cm therefore resultant equal to length a2d into chosen scale so what is the selected scale here 100 newtons so that is 4 into 100 is 400 newtons okay now see once you see the just comparison between this analytical method and graphical method we are getting the same value if you compare this analytical method and this graphical method okay so that's all friends for today's class think uh, all of you understood today's class think uh, today's class will be definitely helpful for your exam preparation okay if you are having doubts please post in the comments box and uh, please subscribe our channel please like and share our channel we need your most valuable support okay so thank you very much thank you for watching